going to call that oh, that's a car. Car. No. Is it? Yeah. That house is so small, I put the key in the front door one day, I took the broke the back window. Yeah. <laughs> the walls in our house are so thin, they opened the oven door one day, fucking fell the next door with dipping his bread in our gravy. It was rough where I lived in Dublin, most of the houses, the windows were boarded up. The window cleaner had to go around with a fucking electric sander. <laughs> I have your fucking go and now I'll get to the dirty ones in a minute. We know. Right? I, the doctor in our house yesterday he said, don't like to look at your wife. I said, you fucking don't. <laughs> he said, she has a cute angina. I said, no, her tits aren't too bad either. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> I went home the other day. The wife said, you want to go up that young fella? He's fucking masturbating himself. I went up and said, look, son, you want to stop this masturbating? You keep up this fucking wank and you go blind. Yeah. He said, I'm over here, Dad. <laughs> ah, even the band's fucking laughing. I must be fucking good. Ah. I went into the pub one night, but I go into the pub every night, but this night in particular I went into the pub. And I went in and I said, Can you give me eight brandies? Put eight brandies on the counter. I said, I can't be drinking them with what I have. He said, What have you got? I said, Fuck off. <laughs> And he's pulling me a pint. He said, it looks like rain. I said, I know, and you're still charged fucking four euros for it. And a blind fella came in. He was blind. He couldn't see. He was blind. He'd little chihuahua dog with him. A little chihuahua dog. The barman said, get the fuck out. No dogs allowed in here. The blind fella said, you like guard dogs. The guard dogs are normally Alsatians or Labradors. The blind fella said, what the fuck did they give me then? <laughs> You can all clap. If you're going to clap, please fucking clap together. <laughs> no, I'm not finished yet. Would you show up? <laughs> no, you stop. But you stop. I'm the fucking comedian. I'll show up. No, listen, listen. No, I'm lost now. I'm fucking lost now. Now, listen. He came up to the bar. I said, do you want a drink? He said, no, I don't drink. I'm skydiving. I said, the blind man skydiving, how do you do that? He said, I just strap on and I jump out. I said, when do you know where to bend your knees? He said, when the fucking dog lead goes flat. <laughs> and I was, <coughs> no, will you listen? Will you listen? I was in Dublin the other day. You know, you know where Cleary's is in Dublin on O'Connell Street? But next door is the Alan Summer Shop, right? And I made a mistake. I went into the wrong fucking shop. I went into the Alan Summer Shop. And I didn't just want to walk out and be approved. And I was there for about two hours. And there was this stand, edible panties, he said. I went in and the woman came over to me and said, excuse me, mister, do you want to buy some edible panties for your wife? I said, look, look, I wouldn't eat the wife's fucking dinner. I'm not going to eat your fucking underwear. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm going down fucking wet here. I think I'm going to fucking stay there. No, man. No, you listen. I have two kids at... No, stop. No, stop. Don't applaud now. I have two kids at home, fucking six and seven. I said to the mother, they're fucking stupid name for kids. It's an over your head. Is it six and seven? It's a stupid name for fucking kids. What do you want me to repeat these jokes? I, re I went to school with Bob Gelder. I'm from Black Rock in Dublin. My father would tell you, well, he says to me, father, anyway, he's always sitting over there. I'm from the Black Rock in Dublin. I went to school the same time as Bob Gelder. Fucking bought a past nine. <laughs> <laughs> you have to laugh, though, lads. You have to laugh. No, I met the wife from Blackpool. I met her in the tunnel of love. She was digging it at the time. <laughs> No, I met her in the dance. I met no stop. I met her in the dance. I knew she fancied me because she rolled her eyes at me. I fucking picked them up and I rolled them back. <laughs> I said, Do you dance here often? So she knows sometimes I dance over there. She said. <laughs> I said, Can I drive you home? So she why do you care? I said, No, I fucking with. <laughs> so I'm driving her home. I said, Look, look, don't put your head out the window. I don't want people think it's a fucking cattle truck. I brought her home, she's lying on the couch completely naked, big hairy fanny's there looking at. 
She said, come in, come in, come in and leave fucking fell in. I said, I sure I can't make you pregnant. She said, you're all right, love. I've had the coil fitted. I said, the size of your family, love, you could have got carpet fit. <laughs> Before I go, I'm just going to leave you one of my favorite. I'm going to tell you the doctor joke, the classic joke. I went to the dentist. No, actually, I went to the doctor yesterday. I couldn't go last week, I was sick. <laughs> I went in, he said, have you a flu? I said, no, I came on the bus. <laughs> no, actually, I went in about my eyesight. I went in, I says, uh, I went to the optician. He says, um, I said, I can see, up close, I can see everything. Far away, I can see, fuck all. I said, do you have a test for me? He says, of course I have. He says, come over here. He opened the window. He says, what's that big fucking yellow thing out there? I said, that's the sun. He said, how much fucking fur did you want to see? <laughs> no, stop. No, fucking stop. No. But my classic joke of all time, I went to the dentist anyway. He says, how much you get them all in, all out in one day? Well, you're talking about a nurse, a dentist, an ether. A An ether. An ether. That's it. It's not a fucking quiz, Dwayne. It's only a fucking joke. <laughs> Focus the blood. No. No pain, no blood. 500 euros. I said, I fucking can't afford that. That's what I said. I said, I can't afford that. <coughs> so, what's your next place? You're talking about a nurse, a dentist, a ether. A bit of play and a bit of blood. 250. I said, I can't afford that. That's what I said to him. I said, I can't afford that. I said, what's the fucking cheapest you can do? He said, you're talking about no nurse, no anesthetist. A dentist. Buckets of blood and you'd be fucking agony of fiber. I said, that's grand. Put the mother-in-law down for money. <laughs> And I got on well with the mother-in-law. I have a picture of both the man that at home. And they keep the kids away from the fire. <laughs> I brought her to Dublin one day. She stepped off the path in this bus stop. I said, have you not enough room to go around there? He says, I have, but I haven't enough petrol. <laughs> I won't say she's fat, but just no matter where you sit in the sitting room, she fucking sitting beside you. I told her to get her ears pierced like the kids see the telly. I just like to say, I was in, I tell you the classic before I go now, because I'm starting to enjoy this now. <laughs> this nun, Reverend Mother, came into the convent. She says, Sisters, I have bad news for you. There's been a case of gonorrhea in the convent. And this old nun stood up, 83 years of age. She says, Thanks for that. I'm sick of that sharp name. It's over your head. Case of gonorrhea, Chardonnay. Right, you'll have to have another one then. Right? I don't know any more jokes. I do, I do, I know loads of them. I love them. <laughs> Don't push me. <laughs> Someone push me that way. As I was saying, anyway. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your listening tonight. Did you think it was funny? Let's have a cheer. Hey! One more can you ask for? Hey! There can only be one! There can only be one! Thank you very much, Woo! He said not to mention his name for tax purposes.